How's it going everyone? It's start to finish DSM and today we're going to be removing the window film on the back window of this 95 Eclipse GSX. It has been uh, bubbled, peeling, and has faded purple and uh, a lot of people asked for a video on a few ways to remove it. So I'm going to show you a couple different steps on ways to remove this window film. So here we go. So as you can see here, this window film has been on here for probably 10 years and it has completely gone clear with like a purple tint to it, which has faded all the charcoal out of the window film due to long age and probably poor installation and poor quality film, as you can see from the bubbles delaminating and everything. We'll go inside. And you can just see how faded it is. You can actually see there used to be a decal on the back window that had faded into the window film as well. So we're gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna show you a few ways on removing this uh, so that you can do it yourself. We're gonna try a heat gun for part of it. I have a cheap, uh, inexpensive steamer that works the best. And then I'll also explain the black trash bag technique that you could do if you pull it outside on a sunny day. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use a heat gun. We're gonna heat the outside of the glass. The window film is actually on the inside layer. And so we're gonna heat it up enough to get the adhesive warmed up so we can peel off as much of it as we can. And then we'll have to deal with the adhesive afterwards. So here we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you on in here and show you what it's doing so far. Some of it will come off together. Some of it is just the, the first layer. So you can see here, this only took off the clear layer. This side was starting to take off the film itself. And you can just keep going until you heat it up. And then uh, once you get the, the layer off, you could use an adhesive remover to to strip the rest of it off, which uh, I highly recommend this product by Fusion. It's by Fusion Tools, it's called Fusion Epic Orange. It is a adhesive remover made specifically for window film. And they carry it in a spray bottle or you could buy it in gallon jugs and dilute it yourself. And so that's just the, that's the harder way to do it. But next I'm gonna show you with a steamer and we'll do the other side and show you what a steamer does. All right. Okay, so what I got here is this steamer that you could pick up on Amazon. It's actually a garment steamer for clothes, but it gets hot enough and it puts out enough steam that it's perfect for removing window film. I want to say I picked this up on Amazon for possibly $40 on a sale price. Maybe they get up to 50. They even make some handheld ones that work great that you can use as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam this side and see how it comes off. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go with the steamer. Just take the steamer, bring it up underneath the glass. We're gonna warm this up, which it's pretty gonna heat steam 
the layer of film and the adhesive underneath it. We're just gonna go from there. Watch your hands with the steamer because it can get really hot. This window, probably 10 years ago, was done in three or four pieces. That's why it's coming off in strips. You just slowly, side by side, steam off the strip you're working on. Try not to pull too fast, or you're gonna pull on the adhesive soon and leave more adhesive on the glass than you will pulling it off. I'm just pulling with enough tension so that it pulls off the glass, but letting it do it itself so that I'm not leaving the layer of film and adhesive on the glass. This does take time, so just be patient with it. If you try to go too quick, you'll just be leaving more film on the glass that will need to be removed with adhesive remover later. The film is very brittle, so the more you try to pull, the more it's just gonna peel right off and leave, I guess what you would say, this purple layer, which is the, the dyed part of the film and the adhesive. If you have a car that's only had window film on it for a few years and it bubbled up, um, it was just a bad adhesive and you should be able to still at least pull off all of the film and the clear layer in one shot and then you'll just have adhesive. But this older film, they actually put the coloring of the window film in the adhesive layer and that's why when I pull off a The clear layer, the purple is still there. I'm going to stop for a second though and show you what the steamer's done so far. So as you can see, the steamer on this side is actually taking off all the film, both layers. It first took off the clear layer first, then I just steamed it again, and now I'm getting the actual film adhesive layer off and it's leaving very minimum amount of adhesive on the glass that can come off with just that adhesive remover spray and like a scrub pad. So once again, over here, 
it would take off the clear layer with the heat gun, but it would leave the adhesive. So on this kind of film, it's better to do a steamer. If you have a film that's only a few years old and the dye itself is in the polyester layer, then you don't have to worry about, uh, you could still use a heat gun and heat it up completely and it will come off. Where with this kind of film, as you're trying to heat it up with a heat gun, you're just baking that adhesive onto the glass more and not allowing it to come off. So the steamer can steam all this adhesive off and get it to all come off in one layer. So as you can see, here's the actual tint layer and here's the clear scratch coat that was on it. So we'll keep going on this and I'll probably speed it up. Fusion Epic Orange, which works great for this exact purpose. And we're just gonna spray it on the window. I highly suggest though, that if you are doing this and your car is in good condition, and it doesn't look like this, uh, please do cover the back hatch area with like a drop cloth or some plastic so you don't get any of the adhesive remover or while you were doing the, the steam, you don't want a ton of water inside the vehicle. So do cover the back of your vehicle with that. As well as if you do have fresh, nice interior panels, try not to get a lot of the spray on the interior panels. Or if you do get some on it, wipe it away before you actually clean it all up. So we're gonna let that sit for a second. And we'll come over here. Like I said, got about 98% of it off with the steamer. There it all is down there, nice purple film. And now we're just gonna clean up the adhesive glue and the last of the film that's left stuck in spots. You wanna grab yourself a non-scratch pad, which this is a, a white scratch pad for window tinting. Another thing you can grab is a non-scratch pad from the kitchen section of sponges. They're gonna be the blue sponges that say non-scratch. Don't get the green scotch pads. Make sure they're blue. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, here we go. We're gonna scrub all this off and uh, get it to back to crystal clear. So we got the finished product now. So here we go. The glass is all clean. We'll come around in here, see the inside. All that nasty window film is gone. Looks so much better than that. So this was just a quick video to show you guys how you can remove some old window film and get rid of that nasty purple bubble stuff. Give me just a second, I'm gonna take this down. All right, 
nice clean fresh window even though i'm not going to use it so anybody that might need a hatch with a good window in it i'll be replacing this hatch down the road there we go how to remove a bubbled faded window film from your back window thanks a lot guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more stuff on the build thanks a lot guys